This one is called Last Weavers 3 through 20. Quickly, quickly, lick me in the arse, and we, oui, by the love of my skin, I shit on your nose so it runs down your chin. You know who said that? It was Mozart. And my punch card embracing the necessary click, the terrified flesh click, as freedom, freedom checks in. Doctor, my heart door is weak and the mania is plenty. We suffer nothing more than a plague of consciousness. Consciousness. Prayers without gods and honours without faces to receive them. If this is a jigsaw, then where do the last pieces fit when they are all the same shade of blue? Ha! Hope and shame by shafts have flattered us, have annexed us to feud and desolation. This is fallow country, this fading lantern, this veteran of the half-draggled hours. A cruel caged doll, I sing the black din of the solitary. Tell of shelter, maybe. Tell of hobble and ponder. Tell of consort between bodies, of tingled caresses and paws. Ah, I am dehydrated from all the times life has taken the piss out of me. The thumped in houses, the neon of unchallenged streets, flogging a dead horse for the sake of a panhandle. Here where kisses interlace, addressing no one but the crushed origami of dunes and gorse and your plaintive wind-tattered sleeve. Hold fear away from me, little arms, hold it away, the ten shuddering moods that beat life with scurvy fists, right down to the last sprays of the quick and automatic first hits, beating their half-savage thoughts into those too defenceless to ward the things off. These times give such small yield to beauty I can feel it squeezing my heart to the last drop. Why the hell do you never smile, boy? What's wrong with you? You crazy or something? You don't scream no more. You don't even twitch when the knife goes in. And we may yet tread in peril or sense the bite of the slipknot when on to the next world we take up our mounts or in rising on a hillside somewhere, through washing weir, river range and undertow, or some nights when the moonlight ripples on the reservoir, on you night I depend on this mystery of sound waves. But the fog is part of the sea tonight, and the sea is nowhere to be seen. Dear Lord, I pray we need never take cause to petition or pray to you again. You know what has to be done. It's in your hands now. I have washed you completely from mine. He started packing the beach away, grouchy and sleepless, the student of a belly scream coughing up half-kicked locusts, a quantum of fornications and specialised rooming house cigarettes. Our dark brain knows the blistered play of days are patched and pieced out in an arbitrary standard of years. Their silken word hoard drowning in some matron's collarbone. Illusion, you have starved me of debasement. You have stoked the love belly. Sunk where the storm goes, you keep fooling my poems with promises. With goodness in blinkers, say no. 
grey as fuss, my vest is peppered with knife holes. Apples are crushed in the hallway and the carpets are sodden and crumpled with tears. I have no memory of, no sight of, no notice of no noirish girl, no sound of her clicking shutters, only these eyes gouged out by fingers that follow the looking glass, returning the swill of these years. And what love to this splintered, homeless waffling, some striking yellow apocalypse, blotted with tipex, knowing if different the sawtooth would be laughter in night dust, or a blemish of coffee spilled on the bedclothes, while I burn something mud together, like dog shit and scorpions, or the waitress's tips and my bike. But silence is craving in this prick teased town of squandered faces spunked on by a fairy tale. Pick some summer somewhere of too many hands waving by the paddling pool, scrambled to a jinx and icky bow legged embraces. Growing up desperate to let go of the suitcase you held back from your face, from the dead factual shirt you went to work in, and where you died every day at the hands of your own loving chokehold, rather to die pretty and broken than have to die sane and alone. The last exasperated dog, his don't jumps and coughs over the floorboards, Half there, his balls, for instance, and the years gesturing back to the pinioned obscurity of his thighs. Years reduced to eye sockets, blatted and swollen with misery. Cheek blisters, squally, windows boarded to a daydream and cribs of unblemished steel. The engine splutters. Memories latent as fireflies, tremulous as little snowflakes, the nervous pram pictures, a flickering wave. Time's beautiful workbench in state deletes, making ribbons from teardrops, boiling apples to the honour of these words. Every croak is the briny aura of more subtlety, is the ghost of a sunbeam, muffled and milky, pushed down. In shadow, these shoes are failing sobs, my every breath savaged by microscopes of disparity. To the cold it takes to heal and cleanse, O oh, night of my winter, under eaves of woe. There the dreaming dream of the spirit body clutches my heart in its hands. I speak these words intending them to mean something when most days I dredge up the efforts to care. For all we do is meaningless, which ought to absolve us of tragedy. It ought to be uplifting that after all we will neither be punished nor rewarded in the end. But the struggle is not removed nor the enslavement, and all because of hunger. I go to graveyards sometimes, and when it catches me I think, these people have the perfect life, they are the luckiest. What could we achieve if we had no fear? What could we achieve if we had no fear? What could we achieve if we had no fear? The I Ching reads, The wild geese fly to a home above the clouds. They no longer need their feathers and leave them behind for the sacred dance, peace everlasting, and so I hope.